striking NASA photographs reveal what appear to be bases on two remote planetary locations, Mars and the Jovian moon Ganymede. Two photos from the Mars Global Survey mission which launched the 1996 show what appears to be a base on Mars. The photos were taken seconds apart and show up to three tube-like structures in a Martian crater lying side by side. The symmetrical nature of the structures suggests that they are not natural geological formations but are artificially created. What makes the structures even more interesting is that they are inside a crater, something unlikely to happen in normal circumstances where meteor impacts create flat impact zones in craters. This supports the conclusion that the Mars objects are artificially created. The photo of Ganymede was taken by the Galileo space probe in 1998. It also shows what appear to be artificial structures in a crater. Again, the structures are highly symmetrical and do not appear to be a result of natural geological formations. Also, the structures appear inside a crater, which according to NASA's photo description was only recently formed. How can a recently formed impact crater have objects inside it? This not only suggests that the objects are artificial, but have been built recently. If the two sets of photos do reveal bases on Mars and Ganymede, then they are evidence that artificially created bases are found throughout our solar system. Who built them? While the obvious response would be an extraterrestrial civilization, it may not be the correct answer. Kevin Smith is a popular radio show host and a former international police officer who found the object in the NASA Galileo image of Ganymede. According to Smith, one of the structures in the Ganymede photo looks similar to a portable nuclear reactor, several of which were made and deployed in the early 1960s. The most well-known portable nuclear reactor was deployed in Antarctica by the US Navy. According to Smith, pictures of bases with these portable nuclear reactors is very similar to what can be seen on Ganymede. Is it possible that a portable nuclear reactor was shipped to Ganymede by a highly classified space fleet controlled by the US Navy? According to what former President Ronald Reagan wrote in his memoirs, in 1985, the US had the capacity to deploy 300 astronauts simultaneously in space. This was far beyond the capacities of the newly launched space shuttle program. Reagan appeared to be revealing the existence of a classified space fleet. According to Gary McKinnon, who was caught hacking into Pentagon computers in 2002, the US Navy possesses a secret space fleet with non-terrestrial officers. McKinnon appeared to find evidence of what Reagan was claiming in his memoirs. The US Navy had a capacity to deploy hundreds of personnel in deep space using a secret space fleet. It is possible that the images captured on Mars and Ganymede may be bases established by a highly classified space program controlled by the US Navy. Alternatively, they may be extraterrestrial in origin or just curious photographic anomalies captured by NASA satellites.